Hey, there you are, Jeff, the Common Sense Camper. Uh, just thought I'd share that with you. I'm just hanging out in my my bushcraft shelter. I need to do some maintenance to it. Looks like it's uh, starting to sag a little bit. Might be this this uh, piece of lumber I have here for my ridge line. But uh, anyways, that's not the purpose of this video. This is uh, uh, video number two of what's in my kit. It's going to be going over the two liter dry bag and the contents. And I wanted to uh, preface this video by thanking everyone that I reached out to and networked with to give shout outs to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, uh, anyone that subs to my channel, I automatically sub to theirs. I just feel that that's the, the right and the fair thing to do. So it doesn't matter if you have 10 million subscribers or one. If you sub to my channel, I'm always going to sub to yours. Uh, I think that knowledge is, is power and it keeps... Uh, keeps us all educated with new skills and techniques and whether it has anything to do with outdoors or not. I have a couple subscribers that they do just gun videos or I have one all he does is video game uh, reviews and I found a couple of those pretty interesting so uh, yeah anyone that subs I'm always going to sub to yours. I always try and uh, respond to any comments that are put in the comment section. Uh, it does sometimes take me a couple of days to get back to everyone, but I do make a conscious effort that any anyone that takes the time to respond to one of my videos, I try and respond back. So uh, the uh, the the number of subscribers that I've received in the last couple of days is uh, it's it's just it's overwhelming. I, I've received probably 50 new subscribers, so I think that's awesome. Uh, I do this not so that I can, you know, gain popularity or get a lot of subscribers. I do it because I enjoy teaching. I enjoy the outdoors, and I think that uh, I have a, a lot to contribute in in those areas, uh, not just for survival or hunting, but if you just want to go out and camp, just go out and have a day hike or go camping. Things that you can buy that will make your life a lot easier, that make it a lot less expensive, so you're not out buying all these gadgets and gizmos that we all fall prey to and spend a lot of money and you spend more time putting your kit together and buying things than you actually do out in the woods and getting some dirt time so uh, I'll stop rambling again thank you to all you new guys and the guys that have stuck with me over the last couple of years uh, so coming up next is the two liter dry bag and what the contents are thanks hey guys Jeff here with the common sense camper Okay, my uh, next item in my kit is another dry bag. Uh, this is a 2 liter Sea to Summit bag. You can pick these up at REI, you can buy them online. These things run anywhere from uh, 8 to 10 bucks. And they're, they're good, reliable gear. They're reinforced. And uh, I've had this a long time and I, I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, I will tell you, you got to watch putting things in there that are sharp and I'll show you like I keep my compass in here and I wrap that up because those those corners will poke holes in these these bags I mean these are not bulletproof bags uh, but they do serve a, a good purpose so in here one of the things that I keep is my Altoids 10 which is uh, my junk drawer and in there I just have a, a cleaning cloth that's a, a alcohol pad and then I keep a couple band-aids in there, regular band-aids, with a couple moleskins for blisters. I keep a small file in there. I keep half of a cork. Uh, I use that one time. I'm not really sure why I still keep that in there, but I use that one time as a bobber to fish with. And I just keep, leave it in there. I've never taken it out. Uh, Imodium AD, to me, there's nothing worse than having stomach issues while you're out in the woods. So I always have two Imodium AD, uh, some Advil. Uh, I have two blanket pens. These are very inexpensive, lightweight. Don't even know they're in there. Uh, you can use that to uh, wrap your wool blanket around you to keep it on your body. Uh, you can also, uh, in a pinch, I one time I had the, the button pop off of my uh, shorts while I was out camping. And I use that to keep the waist together. And a section of a small section of coat hanger. This really the only use I have for that is uh, if I want to hang up my pot, I can bend that with my multi-tool and just make it as an additional little hook 
to tie into my mainly on my MSR kit uh, cook set. And I have a uh, lip balm, and uh, to me, chap lips suck. I did, it, <laughs> it's right up there with diarrhea, uh, but that just might be me. The other thing I keep in there is a straw with a pinched end, and I just melt the end of that with uh, my multi tool, just burn the end. And then a piece of duct tape over the top, and that keeps all my my needles in one spot. So I've got probably five. Uh, I've got four sail needles and one regular needle in there, and that just keeps them from rattling around, keeps me from poking my finger when I reach in there for it. And of course, my favorite little thing is a ranger band which also can be used to extend a fire with. So the other thing I have in here is this is where I keep my emergency bivy. Uh, not much to say about this. These are very popular. You can find these all over the place. Uh, this is just an SOL uh, emergency bivy. Uh, you could use it as a, a tent, a shelter, and a pinch. Uh, in high winds, it's going to be completely shredded. But if you just need to heat up your core temperature, this is a great way to do it. Uh, bank line. I'm always going to have plenty of bank line. Uh, I use number 36. I, I don't really see the sense in buying any other size of bank line. Uh, this just seems to me to be the right size. It just it works. It, the, it has a really high tensile strength. Uh, I can easily pull this apart. I can use this to sew with. Uh, it's going to look ugly, uh, but you can definitely pull this apart, take a single strand, use that to sew, you know, maybe a strap on your backpack. And, of course, there's a million other uses for bank line. Uh, ridge lines, tying things up, lashing, just the list goes on and on. Uh, I carry uh, some paracord as well in here. This is what I call my tent rig, a secondary tr uh, tent rig. And this is about 25 to maybe 27 feet of uh, paracord with three pressic loops uh, in case I lose my other one that I use with my emergency uh, blanket for my shelter. And it gives me additional cordage as well. Uh, I have jute twine in there. And uh, for me, there is no better bird's nest than jute twine. So... Uh, if you want a really easy, simple way to process this in a bird's nest, check out my other video on jute twine. I, I've got a neat trick that I have not seen anyone else do. So hopefully I came up with something original out of out of 25 some years of doing this. And I have two cotton dishcloths. Uh, I use dishcloths to char. Uh, I just I like it better because. You know, if I cut that into four pieces like that, uh, it's actually going to char out not much smaller than that. So it kind of retains its size even after it's been charred. It's a lot thicker. It doesn't pull apart. It doesn't turn into that fine fibers. You know, some of those, like cotton bandanas, they just crumble apart. This stuff uh, takes a spark really well, and, it, and it's a little more durable than regular cotton. And the other thing I have in here is just a compass with uh, a mirror. Uh, it has a magnifying glass on it, but it, it's not enough to start a fire with. I've tried. It just doesn't work that well. Uh, it does have a, a bezel that you can turn, and it has a sighting mirror. Uh, for me, the sighting mirror is important uh, because it does come in uh, very handy when you're navigating, and it has two other uses. One, it can be used as a signal mirror if you had to use it in an emergency. The other thing is, it's a mirror. Uh, and you'd be surprised how many times you, you, know, you get something in your eye, or like I've said before, you, you could just even have a stray hair in your nose that's driving you nuts. It's nice to be able to see what's actually going on there. Uh, not to be graphic, but I'll also use this if I'm... Uh, out camping or bushcrafting in an area that has ticks and I'm staying overnight. I will also use this to check for ticks that you normally, in areas that you normally can't see. And then the last thing in this small dry bag 
and I'm not going to dig it out because it does take a little while to shove it all in there but that's just a two mil painters tarp uh, those are very inexpensive you can get those for like a dollar at a dollar store or a couple bucks at Home Depot and that's what I use to make my my super shelter with that would be the front of the super shelter this does work you don't have to worry about it if you if you secure it to the the tarp really well uh, and really high winds this probably is not going to fare real well because it is really thin and very lightweight so that's uh, the second part of my kit which is the sea to sump it summit sump it <laughs> sump it uh, sea to summit two liter dry bag with all the content so this is jeff with the common sense camper camping out